Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another Final Book Classic review for Throwback Thursday, and this one is on uh, Onua and Liwa Mata from 2001. So, on each caster, you see the picture of the set that comes within. And then, located to this side, you see the LEGO Technic logo, and the age range, 7 plus at the time, and the amount of pieces included, and then the set number down below. And then, also do you see the Bonacle logo down there. And then on this side, you see their names and the odd symbol there, and how to put them in the casters and poster included. And uh, I'll show this on just one of them, where it does have the like spin thing, where you can like see each one of all the toys on there with their masks and mask codes, of course. And also a little hint of the story line. It. It's like how cool the characters were back then, at least until they went over to with boxes as well as, as uh, Ziploc bags and Hero Factory and whatnot. And yeah, and then all the copyright stuff, 2001 Lego Group, and whatever that means. And, yeah. and also forgot to mention is that you can put a mask piece onto there and also do that the like uh, plus holes for all over to make the Toa Zuva of course and if you look inside it has some hollow spaces making them feel like the actual Toa casters in the storyline obviously and also you can like stack them on top of each other which they of course did over the years just probably make it easy for companies to ship them out, and yeah. And on to Onua's instruction booklet, which is the same exact picture as on the front, and you can see that little story thing again, and then as with these instructions, which take time, do this one. And instead of times two, which says put it together that way, then put it together that way, of which is an interesting thing, then in the middle does start the instructions for is the Toa builds, which were also, of course, of importance in the storyline. And then the back of which is how you connected to that and all the different masks included with each character. So first of all, I'll start with uh, Liwa here. Is he one of my most favorite characters of which next to Tafu and all? So. So his legs of which just built similarly to all the other ones, but color scheme is mainly a uh, uh, regular green, lime green, and some accents of black and light like, gray. And for the body of which, also same as all the other ones. But and for the chest plate, which is not really a chest plate, but also it's also another ball joint which uh, which Tahu and Kapaka also have. And and for this arm, which isn't really connected like the other ones, of how like Tahu and whatnot all did, but instead of having a stopper in it, it's just on a pin, so it can rotate around, of course. But although his of which is kind of positioned upside downwardly, of which unlike with Hot Twos, it's positioned like that, and. Although, kind of same deal with Kopaka's other arm as well, and it does go in and out like that. And if you wonder why the fingers are like that, rather than being three long axles, although some people kind of think of them as like guns or whatever, but it does quite resemble that, but I don't think, but although in animations and all, they aren't really used as guns or anything, just as fingers. So they're just to work with the combiner model, of course. And this armor of which and his gear function also to that of Tahu's and Kopaka's, where it can like switch up and down like so. And also do get the ax his like little axe of which looking quite bionic as well. Let's see, it does have some pistons in it as well. It does, and at least still kind of mockable to work with uh, to this day. And of course, as many say, if you do 
take it off. It doesn't have a bunch of the hands on it as well. And then to the head area, which same piece as all the other ones, well, earlier sets. And it does have the brain piece in the uh, uh, odd, uh, bright, trans yellow color wrap or line color rather than other, unlike with the other color, which Golly has, of course. And for his mask, the Kenoki Miro Mask of Levitation, which, of course, in gold is what LJ has to conceal his face and all, at least until he does a face reveal in one of the videos that they do. It's looking like a massive smile, but kind of oddly, but whatever. Which they, of course, also used on Kongu of the Tahonga slash Matoran at this time. And on the back side of which is also that little connection to the kissy mouth. And also the kind of hard to read uh, mask, or mask code being 3-LT. And that is about it. For Liwa. And now on to the Toa of Earth, Onua. And so for his color scheme, mainly black and dark gray, which most of the Earth monocles were. And so his lower legs, which are upside down compared to what Liwa's in the other, would probably match up with that of Golly's even though there's not much of a reason for Golly to have it like that. But, but although what's unique with him is that unlike with Pohaktu, where his whole body was upside down and kind of been hunched, but his of which is he's like really hunched. But probably to make him a bit more standard and a little extra tough because the theme with the Earth characters is that they be the tough, strong ones, of course. And then, as for his arms, of which have those other arm pieces with that golly, also use bolt two of, whereas some of the others do have about one of them. And then, and what was used a lot were the claws, which are black and three, uh, of which to them, and yeah, can I stick on like so? And then with his gear function, which is also used with gollies to like squish it, and he can claw his way through the ground. And then as for the head area, which same as the others, but with a trans green kind, which they also used with Wenua Metru in 2004, and yeah. And his mask of which, the Kenobi Bakari, which they did use for several other stuff like Takua and what everyone, made. but also in black for Tepu. Like a lot of venting of which, but the lower parts where you can actually fit Mari tubes into as well. And on the back of which, or inside of which, is the kind of hard to see mask code, which is a 8 MR. Uh, yeah, and good thing that they also uh, looked back at this and used this same design for the uh, 2015 reboot version of Onua, obviously, and yeah. And if you wonder for the articulation, is just that they had near 9 points since they didn't have bendable elbows or knees yet. And yeah. So now on to uh, a final verdict on these two. But overall, these I think were pretty cool, pretty good sets for the time. Like, get some nice colors to them, like, or at least Liwa a good color scheme to him. And without his mask shaped like that, LJ wouldn't have his trademark uh, golden mask, of course. And at least these would go well in anyone's collection, and yeah. So if you still have these, uh, well, I hope you had some good memories with them, and yeah. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.